Father God woke us up this morning and he clothes us in our right mind. Today, we are calling out a, a, a cry. We crying out to the people and having everybody to pray for this election that's coming this Tuesday, that it be a blue wave that we take this country back for their own sake and that they, we do not let them flip the script and take us back. And you were thinking about not voting. I assure you that you need to be voting. And if you can't vote, you need to be praying. And we got to make sure that we take care of this country for our great-grandchildren's sake. We, we got to go, saints. We got to do this. Other people, by the people, for the people. It's us and our God, because our Redeemer lives, and he hears our cry. He brought the children out of Egypt. He brought us out of slavery. So, same thing. And we can get him to move on our behalf because they're trying to roll things back and we don't we don't we don't need that for our, I'm I'm soon to be I'm my redemption is sooner than when I started. But I got some great grandkids that's just started. And if, if the rapture don't happen before we need this country to do what they had promised, that they had adhered to the Constitution that they wrote. They did the same thing with the book of the Bible. They manipulated it, and they're manipulating it now. They have a knack of twisting Laws, rules, and regulations. We've seen that. They have been exposed. We have no excuse. All of us that call ourselves saved and sanctified have what is called a discernment. The discernment of spirit supposed to discern between good and evil. I said, looked on 60 Minutes to see the president of the, got a new president, young guy, and he voted for Trump twice. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. This man that did everything that the law allowed, don't allow. <laughs> he didn't broke every rule that could be broken. And in your face, not behind the scenes. He's been doing this for 74 years on this planet. His father did it before him. And they still have not locked him up. Saints, we got to do the, the work. I praise the sisters that are coming out. That's always been there. They've always saved our brothers that's out for what for the sisters. I don't know what we do, and cause when they get in, in positions of authority, they continue to reach back and don't forget their their kind. I'm not talking against white folks. We've been the, the underground railroad wouldn't have been where it was without them. We always have to have the white folks with us. And we preferably, we always have the majority. So the, the devil is not as big as he sounds. If we get out the vote, he's not more than, than we are. But like we said, we have God on our side because he said, what you did to them, you done it unto me talking about those that are least among us. Whatever we did to them, 
We got to be our brother's keeper. We got to show forth that we're taking care of those folks. And too much is given, much is required in that regard. He said that's what he's going to judge us on, not the sins. We all were sinners. We all are sinners. We all have sin. Some of us practice it. Some of us don't. Jesus told the Pharisees, it was in law to stone her to death. You without sin cast the first stone. Y'all wants to die, and I see preachers. I listen to them every day, every week, all day long, talking about homosexuals and we're catering to it. The Democratic Party is, is, is in the bed with them. And, no, we're in bed with righteousness, with not discriminating against those that are lost. Because we were lost once upon a time. And if it wasn't for the grace of God, we wouldn't be stuck where we had saved, sanctified, and filled with the precious Holy Ghost. That's why he told us to go out and get them. How should they know us if we don't have love one for another? And he said, love your enemy. Do good to them that despitefully misuse you. I'm going to say a prayer today to y'all, and I'm going to pray for our enemies. And that's what we got to do. Job had to pray for his friends that were coming at him before he got his blessing. And we need to pray for Donald John Trump that he might open his eyes and see the light or he might be laid hands on and cast that devil out of him. Praise God. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come humbly submitting ourselves before your throne room of grace and mercy. We come to lift you up and we come to magnify in your name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for all that you do, past, present, and future. We ask that you bless these dying people. They come to hear your word. That you give them ears to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. Give them this hunger and thirst after your righteousness whereby they might be filled and wisdom and revelation knowledge of your son Jesus, which is the word of God. And Father God, we pray for those that are lost. Father God, from the highest to the lowest of them, those that coming out against taking care of those that are least among us. Father God, we pray for Donald Trump and his minions, those that come to kill, steal, and to destroy on this planet. Father God, that speak lies and, and deceit and, and uh, dis, 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 destroying this country. We ask that you bless them, Lord Jesus. We ask that you Rise them up that they might have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. That they might have a hunger and a thirst after your righteousness whereby they might be filled in wisdom and revelation knowledge of your son Jesus. And Father God, if not, that you will sit up and have mercy. Show them mercy, Lord, as you showed me mercy before I come to the light. And Father God, in the name of Jesus, when this word goes forth with power, somebody might ask, what must they do to be saved, delivered, healed, sanctified, and set free? In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. The new life, that's what we're the topic of our subject matter is today, the new life coming out of Galatians, the sixth chapter, starting at the ninth verse, the Sunday school lesson. It was about to, you were chosen, you were chosen, we were chosen. 
It was talking about chosen, choosing us. God chose us from the foundation yes, of the earth. Give it, give it to me. Hold on. God chose us from the foundation of the earth. We've all been predestined. We were chosen. But he said, the day you hear my voice, heart not your heart. He's been calling us, for, uh, me, 47 years before I uh, actually got and saw the light, got knocked off my horse in, in, in the mix of my turmoil, my trials and my tribulations. My pain and my suffering did not did I not hear him God and tell me what God picked you. He picked us out of the dark darkness and put us in this <coughs> this light. All we gotta do is deny ourselves, pick up the cross, and follow him. The new life. I'm fixing to tell you about the new life. Paul talking to the Galatians. That Sunday school lesson came out of Ephesians. He's talking to the Ephesian church. He's talking to the Galatians here. And it starts with the seventh verse. Galatians 6, 7 through 8. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Bam! Put a pin in it. The new life, man, this is a new life. And I swear, if you ever get knocked off your horse like Paul did, like I did, like the rest of whoever, when you turn on that switch and that light hits you, and God starts showing you the way, it's a process. And it's a relationship that we have in this new life. We have switched partners, and this partner that is is about taking care of you, not killing, stealing, and destroying you, putting you in positions that, that you will fail. God will put you in positions that you will prosper, you will thrive. I wish above all things that you might prosper and be in good health. As your soul prosper. That's what he wants. But like I always say, I've told you once and I'll tell you again, you can't make wine without smashing the grapes. You cannot make gold without burning and putting it in the in the furnace and, and, and burning off the impurities out. That's what he does. He puts us on the potter's wheel. And he shapes us and molds us into this new life, this Christ life, this Jesus, the Christ, the son of the living God type person, being on this earth. And we are about our brother's keeper. We should have a heart for all of those that are doing are less fortunate than we are. And we supposed to bear their infirmities as well. That's what he said. What you did to the least, you done it unto me. And we got to be mindful. Our fruits that my wife so eloquently, I was tickled to death because I couldn't remember of what her topic was. And in bed before, the night before, and I asked her, Oh, you can't wake up because she's a crowd. <laughs> but bread, I had to wake up because it was bugging me. She told me what it was that I had forgot. And I started dissecting her. She gave me just the topic. That's all she gave me was the topic. 
and I started dissecting it. I got her bag back and said, I started dissecting and what scripture she could use here and use that. And she went to the same exact scriptures, the fruits of the flesh and the bag and the fruits of the spirit you got to replace. That's what it's all about, man. You're out of this flesh. The children of Israel, he, he had to come and, and he had to pray them to the point that it's about the spirit now. The flesh cannot do it. He gave us examples by the children of Israel, his chosen people. He would not have had to send his son to die on the cross if it could be done by the flesh. You cannot do it. You have to have a risen Savior to do this, to beat the enemy. We have to fight him, fight the good fight of faith. We have to lay hold on eternal life, and it's only done through the Spirit. We can't beat the enemy. They come to kill, steal, and destroy. They come to bound us in sin. We cannot beat him. On our own merits, on our own accord. We are not a match for the devil. We have to have the spirit of Jesus Christ ruling and reigning. That's why he said we have to deny ourselves. We have to pick up the cross. A cross is suffering. You have to go through some pain and some suffering to get to where he wants you to get to. And you got to follow him. The word. We need a revival. Saints, we need a revival. We need to go back to the old landmark. We got to get back there. We got to put our war clothes on. And we got to fight this good fight of faith. We got to lay hold on eternal life. Be not deceived. God is not marked seven. Let's exegete. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. I know this for a, for a fact. Whatever you sow, you go sow some, some corn out there. If, if, if nothing comes up, nothing comes up. But if anything's going to come up, it's going to be corn. It ain't going to be grapes. <laughs> it ain't going to be the fig tree. It's going to be corn. You, you sow figs out there, it's going to be a fig tree. I know my wife got one. She sold watermelons out there. Watermelons came up. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You want love? Show love. Sow love. Then we got to get back to that old line map. The man the book of Revelation. We got to get back to our first love. You know how you loved him when you first got hit by that light and he showed you who he was in spirit and in truth. We got to go back there and love everybody. We don't have this hate. Don't let them take us to this hate where they at. They are in that hate mode. And we don't want supposed to be, we are set apart. Get that first script, that script I just told you to get. Oh. I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't think of it last week, a uh, week before. I'm a raw, we're a chosen generation. That first Peter one? Yeah, first Peter what? Two. Oh, Go. I because I had the wrong way. Mm. I didn't know you were going to go. Uh. Be not deceived. First Peter chapter two verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that we should show forth the praises of him who hath called us, who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. We got we're chosen, but we're chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. We don't walk like them, we don't talk like them, 
We don't even look like them. We're set apart, and we don't do the things that they do. You don't do the things that you don't. You, you'll surprise yourself. They see you. They come to deceive. They come to deceive you. And it's been deceiving us all our lives with the manipulation of the, 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 the uh, laws and the rules and the regulations. And my, my cousin tells me, a, book, a man, he wants to write a book. I'm encouraging him to do so. And the woman said he should have never went to jail. He went there four times. He should not have never went. They done lied to it. I know they done done me like that. They done took, man, every time they, yeah, I'm going to buck. If I'm, if I'm right, I'm going to buck. But they'll get me for uh, uh, disorderly conduct, uh, <laughs> resisting arrest. I'm going to get just resisting arrest because of the way I talk back to them. They're going to they gonna throw that on you. <laughs> and they're going to lock you up. And man, I I've been sober as all get out, and they didn't sit up and lock me up until they get the machine working and find out they can't find nothing in there. I I the scene is done, and they've been doing that to us for it's a long game. They don't want the brothers voting. They want us to keep us ignorant. Be not deceived. They come to deceive you. That's Satan's biggest tactic is deception. He comes to deceive. And we have the Holy Ghost that will combat that deception. He said then in the latter days, the false prophets and the false teachers going to come and they're going to be deceiving the folks. And not only that, they'll be deceived. And they'll deceive others. That's what's going on now. We see up and watch the DC. We see it. It's plain as day. This big lie that they have perpetrated. I think they done said it so much that they done deceived themselves into believing that that's true. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you. <laughs> They can't stand, stop not saying it because they don't believe it. Mean, they don't it would say drunk the Kool-Aid. That's what they say. It's called drinking the Kool-Aid. Man, you don't start believing that hype. But what, whatever a man saw, that's why I say, man, you have to, the, the be attitude. You got to show mercy. You got to show grace to your brothers, to everybody is your brother. Everybody, even Donald Trump, we just hate what he does. But we got to love him as far as a human being. God, I hate to say that, but that, that's the truth. And my heart feels for him. And he let the enemy get him like that, or he's the Antichrist. It's one or the other. Praise God. And God has to whoop that Antichrist, and we have to come against it. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You gonna get you gonna get yours one way or the other. I, I was talking to a friend of mine and didn't good Bible believing friend. He said, "Man, it's messed up." Talking about the churches, churches is messed up. Yes, they don't lost their way. Man, they conference here, conference here. Where's the where's the uh, revivals? Why well, we ain't got revivals? Why they can't see we need revival? <laughs> Man, for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. I know it. It's, I've, I've experienced it. I've done the wrong things and I've gotten the, the wrong results. I got I got the, the, the those kind of results. Those are results that you 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 come, man. There is consequences, and they like to say that this about the uh, elections have consequences. We've seen. Four years of some consequences 
that I, I don't know who wants to go back to if you're black. <laughs> I, I, I just can't, I can't understand it. But we got brothers out there, we got pastors out there holding on to this, this homosexuals. And, 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 and they even, some of them they, they grabbed the hold to the CRT. They don't even want to teach your, your black folks what see, CRT is not what they teach in school anyway. They take words and twist them and, and, and manipulate the people with it. CRT ain't even taught. But the, what they're trying to say that they don't want slavery mentioned. They don't want anything that's going to make them look bad mentioned in the schoolroom. That's indoctrinating. How you indoctrinate people with the truth? That's, that's what you, the truth sets free. That's three things that, that man, you reap what you sow, and, 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 and it falls on the just as well as the unjust. No, and what's in the dark will come to the light. And uh, the third one is the truth sets free. It's three things that's inevitable in your life. I said that word wrong, inevitable. You reap what you sow, what's in the dark will come to the light, and the truth sets free. Those things are going to be in your life. And you got to, if you walk in the wrong way, it's going to be seen. Corrupt, flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, let's get this corruption. You sow to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. That's just simple as that. Whatever you're doing out there in the dark that's corrupt, you're going to be seen. And you're going to be, you're going to have to deal with the, the, the corruption. I remember the times that we got away with. I was a getaway man. I ain't going to steal nothing because it, it look on my face. I'm stealing. I'm stealing. I'm stealing. That's that's, that's what I would look like because I, I I don't have a poker face. I don't. I can't. I, I can't play it off. It's not in me. But I could be the getaway man. And man, I'd have had my car filled with with stolen merchandise. Stolen guns and, and stuff like that, man. And I and I tell them when they come, I'm gone. If somebody's following you, <laughs> I, I just, you ain't coming to this car. I don't know you, <laughs> but man, corruption. You, you, it's it's gonna be following you, <laughs> man. But I never did get caught, but. Man. Huh? <laughs> but boy, you you get caught in other ways. The, the flesh come down on you. It's going to go. It's going to catch up with you, fleshly wise. Anyway, I I believe a whole bunch of the sickness and the, the things that I'm going through in my body is because of that sin nature that I have corrupted in my flesh. You know what I'm saying? God, let the say, say Satan get you somewhere else. Okay? They didn't catch you, but you you're being seen. <laughs> you're being seen. But he that saw it to the spirit, shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Mm -hmm. Now I do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Now I be loved. Now I do love. Now I show mercy and grace. Now I think about those that are least among us that I want to help. I want to go out and make sure that they get this word, that they understand this word, that they hear this word. I didn't see them now. I was up to get up out of here. Don't give me the next scripture. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ways to go for Jesus. <laughs> Mark chapter 8, verse 36. That's Mark chapter 8, verse 36. So why don't that go there? Let me see if I can sleep with that. 
Okay, there you go. Mark chapter 8, verse 36. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? <clears throat> that part. They will tell you that gain is godliness. Oh man, you ain't you ain't got you ain't got the Cadillac yet. You serving God, you ain't got the big brick house yet. Oh man, you and you still holding on God. And you know how to go get the money. You know what I'm saying? Out of this is my third brick house. And I lost the other two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm and I'm on my way this time. And there ain't no way they're going to be able to take this unless something traumatic happened. But I ought to be able to get paid out of this one. Jesus is my source. The word do I follow. I follow him. I have denied me. I'm all about this word. Getting to much is given, much is required. And if you give, it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaking together and run it over. Shall me and give it to your bosom. I am a giver of this word. He's told the disciples that went out two by two. Uh, uh, give. Uh, he said, go, go out. And, and tell the people about me. And if they don't receive you, wipe the dust off your feet and go to the next house. But you have to give to, you give, for, you receive freely, give freely. The Lord gave me this message to give to the dying and sin sick world, which is the people out there. And I want the people to hear what thus said the Lord, so they can get on the right path. But, you know, the, but that scripture you just read, it said, uh, what was the scripture? Mark chapter 8, verse 36. Yeah, Mark 8, 36. And what shall it profit what a man? What shall it profit a man? If he, they, they up there uh, jockeying for a position of power with lying lips, uh, abomination to the Lord, just to get gain. Man, I've been there. It, it, what does it profit? You gain the whole world. You got Elon Musk, richest man in the world, 240 some billion. Who need a barn that big? And the biggest fool you ever, I mean, he said, call no man fool. But red, he said, wow. You ever want to see, he got to be living a bad life. The stuff that he wants to do to the poor folks. Instead of to just, man, how many homeless people could he take care of? He can Man, man, they ain't hear him having no kind of uh, homeless shelter things and giving away his money to none of it like Bill Gates and him and Warren Buffett. Oh, Jesus. Man, gain the whole world and lose your soul. But what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Is that part on there? The whole world and lose his soul. That's it. But it goes on to say, what can a man give in exchange for his soul? And we need to go read that. What's the scripture again? Um, Mark chapter 8, verse 36. Mark chapter 8, verse 36. Go read that, the rest of that. Corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, boy, that's it. Man, you keep sowing to the spirit. How you sow to the spirit? You read the word of God and you do it. You don't just be hearers of the word. You be doers of the word. You're doing the word. So, man, I can't get you where I need you to be 
If you don't hunger, you got to eat this. You got to eat this scriptures, these scriptures. These scriptures is building your spirit, man, so you can be able to withstand the wiles of the enemy. Enemy, you got the the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the the, the sword of the the, the 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 spirit, which is the word of God, man, and thorns girded about with truth. Man. And, and uh, the feet, preparation of the gospel of peace. you got to have the full armor on, and this word will build you in spirit with the whole armor to be able to protect you from the wiles of the enemy. Jesus did it just well. He throwed back the scripture. Psalm 91. Man. He, he he quoted scripture. You can't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Everywhere. From Genesis to Revelation. Don't let nobody tell you, man, the precious promises are off in the Old Testament. It's a give, and it shall be given. Uh, he said in the Old Testament, man, uh, Talking about tithes and offering. Man, you got to give your tithes and your offering if you want to get gain in your finances. <laughs> it said, what would you say? You have been robbed. You have robbed me. And, and how we have robbed you in tithes and in offering? Bring ye all the tithes into my storehouse that there might be beat in my house and prove God said, prove me. Now hear what said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pull you out of blessing, there won't be room enough to receive it. And it happened to me. And just as he said, because I've done from day one, from 20, uh, 25 years ago, from day one, I did it. But I've got lawsuits that I paid on it. I've got lumps of some I paid on. I've heard a, a bishop, bless his heart, Bishop Johnson. He, he praised me up in the convocation because I kept telling him if they get cut me a check, I'm going to show get my time. That's when I was out drugging and, and drinking. <laughs> And I still believe that principle, Al Capone them used that. They go to the Catholic Church and then them gangsters took care of the Catholic Church. They paid the church, they tithed. Even the, what do you say, even the heathens know this, this principle works. If God said prove him, prove him. He didn't say you had to be no saved and sanctified. He said, prove it. Tides and offering. That's what he's going to do to open you the windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing. There won't be room enough to receive. And he'll rebuke the devourers for your sake. Praise God. That's, Ma that's Malachi 3 and 8 or something like that. And let us not, oh, the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Let me bring it on home. And let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. But don't let nobody discourage you. Sometimes you have to be like David and you have to encourage yourself. And the enemy comes at you with all of that dirt that you've done. He he come, I've been mean, up 25 years into this, and he see that I ain't, I ain't moving. The Lord blessed me with what I asked for, and, and it comes to pass. Like my wife, I asked for a woman that loved him like I, like I love him. She does. She was here last week. 
Man, she, uh, I let her have the whole reign. Let me see. She, she, she was doing it. She was in the vein. She had the spirit of the Lord on her, and I do what want to mess that up. She was, and I was encouraged that she is now, the chief, what you said, uh, what I asked for. And, man, she can help this ministry immensely. Yes, can't wait till us get a building. Y'all pray for us that we get a building. And be not weary. I'm not supposed to be weary in this well-doing. For in due season, we'll reap that building if we fight not. All we got to do is stay the course. God's going to be here on his timing. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings of eagles. They will run and not be weary. They should walk and not faint. We got we to gotta stay the core. And this turmoil that's going to come in after Tuesday, if it, if it, if it comes the wrong way for, for some, but the the enemy is coming in like a flood anyway because time is winding down because if we, the people that are called by his name, the church, the church is in bed with the enemy, then they done fell by the wayside. They done went after the power and the gain, the money, and they using moral values instead of spiritual values. I mean, uh, social value. Moral values is something that you and God have to deal with. Your moral. Society, yes, and you can, you can walk on somebody's toes with your moral being so jacked up like they is, that moral values. They, they telling us about the Christian right, they moral values. They moral values as bad as the homosexuals and and the, and the rapists. They have they have no no uh, uh, no difference. There's no no light d darkness with them. They are all insane, man. But <laughs> but to be able to be not weary and well doing, do season you reap if you faint not. You can't faint. That's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to discourage you. He wants to deceive you. He wants to get you to get out of what you're supposed to be doing is serving God in spirit and in truth. And they want to sit up there and use tactics to get you out of your element. These black men are holding on to homosexuals and all of that, man, we don't discriminate. Social values is what we're supposed to be about. Being about our brother's keeper, fighting for the little man, for the widows, the orphans. The, man, we're supposed to be fighting. That's what true religion is. We have a relationship with this religion that we have of Jesus Christ. And we supposed to be standing in the gap for them. And the only way we can do it as far as the, the, the hierarchy of this country is by voting. We have to vote people in office that taking care of those things, taking care of child tax credits, uh, to Social Security, Medicaid, Medicare. All them things that takes care of the poor. They said it's a socialism. Go to the book of Acts. When they sit up there and sold their homes and put it together and it, everybody that had need pulled out of that patil. Socialism is a form of calling Jesus Christ. That's what he was about. When you know how body have no bigger barns, what he did with the man, he said, your soul I required my hands tonight. A job you doing with your money is making bigger and better barns. And that, that ain't what it's about. Man, godliness with contentment 
is great gain, period. Be not weary and well doing, for in due season you'll reap if you faint not. Huh? Oh, you didn't give me time. 45 minutes. Oh, but let's, let's take that to the bank, eat it, continue to show love to one another, and show forth God's glory, be about his kingdom, build in process, and he will protect you for Psalm 91. A thousand will shot fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it won't come now unto you to hurt you because you're a child of God. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for this word that went forth with power. The new life. That's what we're all about. And he will take us to a new place. There's no more crying, no more suffering, and no more pain if we continue the course and that we don't let power and money deceive us. For the, the, what it said in one passage of scripture, the deceitfulness of riches deceive you. Praise God. And Father God, we thank you for these ears that came to hear this word. We ask that you bless them and their household. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. And if you don't know Jesus in the pardon of your sin, say this little quick prayer with me. Father God, in your son Jesus' name, I repent this day of my sins because I believe that you died on the cross at Calvary for the remissions of my sins. And on the third day, you arose that I might partake of the tree of life. I believe this happened for me and that I want to make you from this day forward my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. If you believe that, Romans 10 and 9, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, you shall be saved. But you got to go do the work. You got a kingdom to build. You got to walk to walk. You got to be salt and you got to be light. Go to Acts 2 and 4 and see what they did at Pentecost and Acts 5 and 32. How you get the Holy Ghost? Yes, boy, it's a free gift. You don't get it when you get saved, but you got to work and show forth that you are meaning what you say and hear you the Holy Ghost by your obedience. 5 and 32 Acts. All minds clear. The, this is a 501c3 ministry. And uh, since we don't have a building, we don't have a, a, an expense, but we do take from time to time and take care of those that are least among us that they cry out and all at us. We're taking uh, Zale. You got Zale, you can uh, pay tithes and you can pay offers. And if you want to be a member of this church, this is the place to be loved, uplifted, and taught the Word of God. Temple of Faith of God Church. And you can uh, give us a holler on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. We are on. But uh, go to our website and uh, give us a message. And we'll receive you. And uh, we'll give you some correspondence what this church is about. We believe the Word of God. In its entirety, from Genesis to Revelation. Let sweet communion of the precious Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide until we return at the appointed time. 
will forever give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory that is so due you. In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Go vote. If you don't pray that this be a the last slide election for the blue. And I know I'm not supposed to say that, but uh, <laughs> we out there. <laughs> uh, we'll mess around and get fired like my girl Tiffany Cross, Cross Connection. And uh, 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 I just got a brain freeze. Uh, have a, if we'll see you next week. If the Lord say the same, have a blessed day. And have a blessed week. Bye-bye.